Oh, that was such a good stroke. Oh, well home for Eagle. Hello, well, my friends, and <laughs> welcome back to yet another episode of... So, <laughs> we're back at the Serenity Championship today, round two action. And, uh, yeah, a bit of a learning curve to say the least, but uh, overall, I'd say it's a pretty solid round of golf. So, please do join me, won't you? And uh, we will uh, see what is and what is, eh? <laughs> All right, see you out there. Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is delighted to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Serenity Championship is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this second round action. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam and Rich, as this player starts their round in the lead, what should be their focus for today? Small leads are no fun because you think that you should win, you kind of expect to win, but you know that there's some good golf that must be played to get you over the line. I gotta say, small leads are just uncomfortable. My heart's pounding, my palms are sweaty. Let's see how they play out. Let's see what kind of Tony sets for himself today. Oh, that was pure. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? Setting up here from about 180 yards. Going with the seven. This one's got eyes for the flagstick. Oh, that was so close to going in. Well, he means business. Coming out, hitting shots like that against HV3. I think Harold's just as surprised as I am. A birdie putter waits. Well, Rich, that's ideal. A birdie to start the day. I've never been disappointed by starting off my round with a birdie, Luke, I can tell you that. And at the end of that hole, he's gone into clear outright leader. Now with the honor on a par five. Well, this should affect the ball flight. That's not what they hoped for. I'm definite about that. Henny, how bad is this lie? Looks like they have a bad lie here in the second cut. Getting ready to play their third. Choosing the nine iron here. Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. And now let's head over to Harold Varner III. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. It was on a good line. Thirteen feet to the hole. Looking for another birdie here. That 
was a gallant attempt. And this putt coming up for his par. And that putt will drop. Well done. He's currently tied for first. Teeing off here at the third hole. That should find the cut stuff. Playing from around 190 yards out. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Oh, terrific approach and a chance for birdie here at the third. This part of about seven feet to the hole. Little birdie look in here. Yep, tracking well. Wonderful shot. And now heading over to Harold Varner the third. Yeah, he just made bogey on that last one. He's HV3. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. So after that effort, this is what the leaderboard looks like. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honor on the hole. Yeah, that's about as far as you're going to see this part of three play, Luke. Player's going to go in there with the mid, probably shortish iron. Obviously, with the water on the right, you want nothing to do with that side as the bank severely slopes downwards. Bailing out to left of the bunkers, not so hot either. But with just a short iron in your hand, you think that these players are good enough to fire right at it, don't you? Yeah, not a bad effort, that one. Up onto the green and a chance to hold your putt. And this one for back-to-back -back birdies. And that's a long-range bomb. And rest assured their rival will be looking over their shoulder. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. That looks to be a fair way finder to me. Second shot here on the fifth. Unable to find the green on this one. Shocking. A missed green in regulation. All right. Facing a little up and down here to save the par. Wow, that almost went in the hole. Yeah, that's a top little chip shot, that one. Love watching this player around the greens. And now let's head over to Harold Varner III. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Yeah, that's lovely weight. Getting it right up by the hole. 
Excellent job. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. As we head now to the par five next. One win is good, but two wins would be great. <laughs> Nicely done. And here we are with the third shot. Currently in the lead by a shot. Nice recovery there. Yes, very smooth tempo there on that chip. Leading by three strokes now. Welcome to this hole. That's a par four. Oh, that was pummeled into submission. Time for the second shot here at the seventh. This is looking pretty good in the air. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. And as good as they putt, you almost have to guarantee this one. Sitting up here with a very long putt. Get the fist pump ready. This looks like it's going in. OK, time to return to the action. It's just about three feet away. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. Well, nicely done. Holds the putt for back-to-back -back birdies. Kind of like it. Two in a row. And this is quality play. Still on top of the leaderboard looking to ride the momentum after coming off a birdie here with this shot. Opting for the hybrid, I think. This one is chewing fiber. Yep, that one's on the dance floor. You can two-putt that for sure. What's in front of them, Henny, with this putt? Setting up this putt 16 feet from the cup. Oh, just missed. And this one is for his par. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. Currently nine under for the event. Here we are at the final hole on the front nine. Wow, he let the big dog eat there, didn't he? Taking aim from about 180 yards here. Currently leading by a three.
trying to get it to move a little bit to the left here. Yeah, nicely played. This part to get to 10 under par. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Right on four feet. Should make this one. This looks like it's got the speed and the line. Why don't we catch up with the V-man, Harold Varner III. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. And let's see what that shot did to the leaderboard. Time now to make the turn for home, Rich, and uh, this is an exciting part of the championship. What are your thoughts on this performance? Yeah, no time to start thinking about that lead, Luke. they got to keep their head down and keep going forward. Cannot think about that lead or people will pass them. Oh, I like this. The cover's coming off the big dog. Time to let it loose. What a gargantuan tee shot. Second shot here on the 10th hole. Pretty good shot there. Sitting at nine under par, currently in the lead. Well, that's very crafty, isn't it? Such soft hands. And now heading over to Harold Varner III. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Putting for birdie. Gee, that's good playing. Six birdies in a round. He sits in first position. It's time to begin this powerful hole. That is right down the sprinkler line. Second shot here on the 11th. I shot that. That should find the surface. Gee, I think they've got the handle of this game, Rich. Fairways and greens. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. A chance for a booty if this goes down. This one's tracking. And he just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a putt to hold. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard.
Let's see what happens here at the 12th. Looks to be going with the six iron. That was a beauty. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? The perfect leave. Uphill can be firm. This one's dialed in. Well done. Take the birdie. And now let's head over to Harold Varner III. He's just coming off a drop shot on that last hole. Well, there's the lie in the greenside bunker. Can they get this one up and down? Oh, what a shot from the bunker. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our current leader is enjoying a six-stroke advantage. This hole is a long par four. quite the shot he was wanting and he's down there setting up here from about 150 yards opting for the nine iron nice out the rough here oh well that was an absolute beauty particularly out of that lie that was exactly what the doctor ordered oh you love to see those shots land what a play and still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves. A chance to keep it rolling. Yeah, generous landing area, thankfully, out to the right-hand side. Obviously, a bunker down the left. And if you miss it even further left, there's water lurking. But the second shot, this is where it gets slippery. This is where it gets dangerous, especially to a back right hole location. All of a sudden, the water down the right-hand side comes into full view, bailing out to the left in the bunker. Not so hot either. Say what, it takes a brave player to fire at this flag stick. Let's take a look at HV3. Oh, well, that shot took some serious skill. Okay, let's get back to it, shall we? And Henny, what's he looking at here? I'd say he's about 165 from this flag. And choosing the eight iron here. Oh, I like that strike. This one's heading well towards the green. Terrific shot and a chance for Birdie coming up here at the 14th. Just six feet between he and the hole. This is their look at Birdie. He's got a chance. Well, you're going to be hard to catch now if you keep making putts like that. Now, eight shots in front. Now on the tee, fresh off a birdie. A great opportunity to build on that momentum. Left nothing in the tank on that one. That was pummeled. Taking aim from around 240 yards out here. Going with a three wood here. Oh, almost went in. 
And this player is really going after it here, Rich. I tell you what, what a sensational play. This player stepped up their game, a bold play, hopefully a bold reward. Trying to get to 16 under with this putt. Oh, that was such a good stroke. Oh, well home for Eagle. And now heading over to Harold Varner III. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Let's catch up with Harold Varner. Gee, that'll keep the momentum rolling, Rich. And look out, guys. This rivalry looks like it's going to get pretty interesting today as he's making up some ground on his playing partner. Well, the leader is really starting to gap the field now. They're ten strokes ahead. Let's see what happens here at the 16th. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Oh, what a gorgeous looking shot that is, Rich. Oh, well played into birdie range here at the 16th. Gotta like their chances from there. And this putt is for a big two on the scorecard. This one looking really good. Well, it would have been nice to get the birdie, but a part never hurts. Let's catch up with the current proceedings. Four feet to the cup. I like the look of this. Oh, that had eyes for it. Lovely shot. And now that finds him in first place. This hole is a par four. <laughs> Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. This shot from around 210 yards. Looks like they've got the five wood. A yeah, tidy looking shot that one. Oh, that's beautifully judged. All right, Henny. What's he got in front of him here with this putt? Just got to trickle this one in the front door. It's downhill. Well, the old hammer hands putt. Putting for a par here. Oh, Rich, is there anything more disappointing setting up what you think is a makeable birdie putt, but unfortunately not able to convert? And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. All right, one more hole to go. The 18. I tell you what, though, I like this finishing hole because it gives you options. You don't have to necessarily hit driver here. If you do, you got to take it over some pretty tall trees, and you can't miss it to the left-hand side. The safe plate, lay it out to the right, but now your second shot becomes just a little bit longer, a little bit more difficult to get it that close to the hole. I love the options you have on this finishing hole. A great opportunity for one final birdie. Well, you're in the hands of the tree gods now. And what's in front of them there, Henny? 
They can't quite see the green here, Luke, because it's elevated, it's much higher. They're definitely going to have to club up. Going with the five wood. And that was a bit of a misfire. Not too sure what happened there. That's a very uncharacteristic mistake. Getting ready to play their third. How close was that to going down? Well, this would be a great par putt if you can make this. Oh, that's frustrating. And this one will be for bogey. Nice round, well played. And Rich, as this round comes to an end, this pro is absolutely dominating the field. Always good to be out in first place. That means you can afford to make a mistake tomorrow, but you don't want to make too many of them with the chasing back and lurking behind. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Bean, and on behalf of all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, it's goodbye for now. Well, all right, my friends. Well, there you go. Well, brightest blessings, love and light to you all. Now go tell somebody you love them, eh? Okay, bye for now.